Well, today, family, friends, and first responders, as well as mil military personnel, bid their final farewells to a firefighter who lost his life in the line of duty. Dwayne Bradshaw not only served Escambia County, but our country as well. He had just returned home from Iraq three weeks ago to take care of his sick wife, and then he was killed responding to a deadly motorcycle crash on County Road 112 near the Florida-Alabama state line. News 5's Brianna Hollis was at the funeral today at Hillcrest Baptist Church in Pensacola. Dwayne would tell you, never leave home to start your shift without telling your family that you love them and give them a kiss. The family of Chief Dwayne Bradshaw says that's exactly what he did when he was called at 3.40 a.m. Wednesday, November 6th. Six days later, here we are at his funeral. With my soul. Dwayne was a fellow brother, but he was my friend. Well. All I ask is let's do it right. Let's show him the honor, let's show him the respect. Firefighters and military sergeants took turns talking about how much Bradshaw meant to them. Dwayne was there for me from the beginning till the end. He loved the fire service. He loves all of you. And hundreds filled the pews in full uniform, crying, praying, Present, and saluting. Rest easy, my brother. We've got this from here. Reporting in Pensacola, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5. And as the funeral wrapped up, the procession began making its way to Pensacola Memorial Gardens. WKRG.com mobile journalist Blake Brown was there with that story. Yeah, the procession lasting about 45 minutes or so this afternoon from Hillcrest Baptist Church north of I-10 to the cemetery. Along the way, there were people standing on the side of the route showing their support for fallen district fire chief Dwayne Bradshaw. This wasn't a procession where just adults stood on the side of the road in silence. Kids were also waving flags and standing in the cold weather this afternoon, watching as each car and truck passed by. I spoke to a biker this afternoon who tells me he's a retired firefighter and after 20 years of service, he never thought twice about coming out here today to show support for a fallen brother. He was one of my brothers. Uh, we also rode together with the Fire and Iron Motorcycle Club. And it's just the way to do this. That's what we have to do. I mean, it's, we don't have to do it. It's just we do it. That procession ending at the cemetery around 2 o'clock this afternoon. In Pensacola, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.